Hello everyone! Julia is here. I am very glad to see you today. Thank you for watching and sending your beautiful artworks. They are fantastic. And today we will be drawing a cute pack. So what you will need today? Today we will need pencil, paper and something to color with. It could be crayons, markers, pens, color pencils, paints, whatever you have at home. So I wish you happy drawing. Let's start and have some fun! So here is our pack, actually four of them. We will draw our pack in different poses, so we will, you will be able to cut it out with uh, scissors later and stick it with glue next time and create a cute collage with me. So let's start drawing our pack. Let's see, the first one having a cute uh, mark with him, the second one has a pack's bulb and the third one is sitting in a small basin and the fourth one is dreaming about donuts. So I think all packs love donuts, agree? So let's start drawing our packs. So we will divide our paper on four parts. You can make it with your ruler or just visually in order to keep our packs very similar. So I will start drawing a pack, the first one, uh, with his eyes. So it will be somewhere here and I will start drawing with the eyes. I will start drawing a circle. And the second one. If you need to stop this video, just pause the video, take your time and repeat and rewatch if you need to watch more details. So now I will be drawing spotlights to make them shiny and just a little bit bigger circle around and they're a little bit closer to this right side. Now I will be drawing his nose. It will be almost on the same level as his eyes and also leave space for the spotlight. And now I will be drawing this curve line. So, and now his mouse. I will make two wrinkles, his bows. And now I will be drawing places where his whiskers would be. And now let's draw his head. If you don't like something, just rub it out and repeat. And then his ears. So, and now I will be drawing his body, so it will be almost like this one. So, his legs. And second one. And then I will draw a curve line and his back line, a leg, and then his tummy, and it goes a little bit like this, and his 
curved tail. So this is our first plug and I will draw uh, his mark. I will draw an oval and then a cylinder. The handle. And you can write here something and just write. So this is a mark. I will write plug, but you can draw a heart or something else. So this is first one. Now I will be drawing the second plug. Which is actually lying near his ball. So I will start with the ball. It, it is an oval. Then you repeat another one around. Just something goes not that straight, just correct. And then two lines and the third line to connect. And I will draw a bone here. So this is his bow and now I need to draw his head. I will start again with the eyes. So I will draw a bigger one and then smaller and spotlights. Second one. smaller spotlight and one more to make them shiny then I will on the same level I will try to make him his nose we will leave space for a spotlight and then I will connect his nose and now his mouth Inkles. Bow. Making this face like asking for something. So cute. And now this face. So now I will be drawing his body. So I will start from here and go like oval. And now I will be drawing his pose. One here. One will be here. And one goes from here and his tail again yeah. a little bit correct here maybe this and now I will be drawing um, our third pack here who is sitting in a small basin. So we will start again with his eyes and repeat the same. So I will be drawing one circle here, one circle here, spotlights, his cute nose, And now I will go with a curved line and then I will draw his tongue, easy like this, wrinkles, one, two, bows, 
And now I will be drawing his head. So to be. Some wrinkles here because pugs are usually all made with wrinkles in his body. So when he's sitting and we can see two of his paws, small and cute one, so like this. And now we'll be drawing little basin where he's sitting in so the Draw this line, then go a little bit here, here to show, to make this 3D volume. And now I will repeat the line and see the middle, like somewhere here. And now connect actually like this. So this is... Our park in the basin is this here, and now I will be drawing the fourth one who is sitting and dreaming about donuts. All parks love donuts, so I will be drawing it here, starting with the circles. You know already what to do. Spotlights. Second one, spotlights again, the nose, spotlight, and just go like this. And his mouse. Wrinkles, and now we'll be drawing his head and ears. Here's our puggy, the wrinkles here. And now drawing his body and we'll draw two poles here on the same level, like try to keep it. And one pole here, tummy and his back legs. And we'll go like this actually. Again here, try to keep them on the one level and connect a little tail. And now I will be drawing his dreams all about donuts. So I will be drawing a donut, but maybe you will wish to draw something else, like not a donut, maybe you think he's dreaming of maybe a bone or something else just up to you. So a donut, easy to draw, some curves, some sprinkles here to decorate. That's it. So, and now we are going to color our beautiful packs. Look how cute they are. So let's color them. I'm very excited to color our packs. Let's start coloring. So, it's my favorite part actually. So, I will be using um, black pa uh, pen, um, pen for coloring 
eyes and nose, but you can use black pencil or if you are coloring with markers, you can use black marker. So like this. And nose. Yeah. And now I will be coloring with brown pencil rose and his nose and mouth and ears they will be dark brown and the whole body will be lighter color like more orchid or something like lighter brown if you have just try different ones which will suit you more Now, Pug, he likes to drink coffee, eat donuts, or maybe he likes sausages. And let me know, guys, which names you will select for your pugs. I still haven't selected a name for my pug, so send me your suggestions. Maybe Pug Albert or Pug Harry. I'm sure you will select some cuter names for them. So, this is our first one, and I will color this coffee. Maybe dark coffee, and we'll use blue for mark. And you can color different colors and use different patterns. And I know you, some of you are very sending me very colorful pictures and some of you sending me so cute and sophisticated pictures and they are so different and so beautiful just don't forget to send me and use your creativity to color and to use maybe you will draw some other details and i will use navy here now i will be coloring the second one again i will start Maybe you can mix the colors, just use a lighter one and just remember that you can mix them up and make a little bit different shade of brown if you don't have which you like. You can mix, like now I'm mixing different shades, like this is lighter one and I will then add darker and it will look as a perfect brown for my puggy. So you also can do the same. And next time we will draw some adventures for our puggy, so uh, you will be able to cut them out with the scissors and we will make some cute collages. And maybe we will also create some new friends to our pug. We'll see how it goes. This is very funny to color and very relaxing. I like to shading. It's beautiful how the picture is coming around. It looks like real. So I'm very excited to see your puggies and what they like. If they like donuts or maybe they like something else. Ice cream, for example. Some pugs, I know they like ice creams. And I like ice creams too. So look, he's very cute. So our third one is sitting in a basin. He likes to swim. So I'm coloring his eyes with black and nose. And you maybe can make his eyes brown. And I will be doing like making just black. Around the balls. Oh, here we go. If you are using paints, you do almost the same, just coloring with the paint or crayons. Oh, I haven't 
going to make his more visible whiskers and he is also more visible Makes him, makes him look funny he's smiling and happy he's very happy bug and very cute of course all puggies are so cute so And if you would like to add some bows for our puggies or maybe beads if it's a girl, just don't hesitate to do it. And I will be coloring this blue basin. And I will make also polka dot pattern, but you can make other patterns with hearts, with um, stripes, whatever you like just up to you guys what to select and we will create some beautiful adventures for our puggy who is sitting at home so if you are at home it doesn't mean you can't have adventures you actually can as many as you wish Here's our last one. So we actually have drawn not only one pack, but actually four of them. And this is fantastic. Four packs is better than one. So coloring this dark brown, his ears and his mouth and nose and then select lighter brown for his body but you can also color him black uh, because the lovely pugs black one so you also can make him very stylish black one pug it's absolutely great if he will be black One will be brown, very classic one, very cute. So, and he likes donuts, so I will be coloring donut now. And he's dreaming all dreams of parks about donuts. So my donut will be glazed. color but yours can be glazed in other color so I will use this pink and add some other colors for decoration and also this light one here yeah like this and some colors Okay guys, our packs are almost ready. So let's trace the eyes with brown and then they will be ready. So I will do like this and you can also repeat and do this round and round the eyes tracing and they will be looking cuter. So this is a great tip to do in order to make our pugs look like real pugs. Look guys, our pugs are so cool! Well done! Thank you for watching this video. I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And if you enjoy this lesson, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share your beautiful artworks on my Facebook page, the link to which is below this video. Thank you, guys! See you soon! Bye-bye!